tell you viewers to play later. How are we doing today? Well, I just shot one of these for my other channel, so why not do one here? These are seven of my guilty pleasure channels on YouTube. And no, I'm not talking about being corrupted by Slanish, all right? But still, these are channels that, if I'm having a bad day, you know, you just need that moment, you can pull up anything from these channels, for me at least. I can veg out, I can feel better, I can just have an incredible time. So I wanted to share them with you. I know, I'm still new, the new kid on the block with this channel, but still. All right, we're going to start it off with number one. These are in no particular order. These are just the way I wrote them down. So number one, the granddaddy of them all. This is the channel that re-sparked my interest in Games Workshop. It seriously, truly did. <clears throat> the one... The only play on tabletop. If you want a family-friendly channel for tabletop wargaming, <coughs> this is the channel. They have such a diverse team that it's not even funny. They have so many great people who work together to bring amazing, you know, scenery on the tabletop, amazing paint jobs, amazing storylines when they do their narrative campaigns. I love the fact that they do 40K in 40 minutes. They just did in their members only section, if you're a member, um, it's called Battle Buddies. And they took on the topic that not a lot of players would about how to deal with toxic players in wargaming. So, if you want a good time, and also, these guys did a 18-hour, I think it was, live stream. Their live streams are fucking kick-ass. They really, really, truly are. If you want to have a good family-friendly time, if you want to sit down with your kids and show them your hobby, this is a great way. I sat down with the monkey, and now, because of uh, James Jones, my kid wants works. So, that's a good thing. You know, the next generation's getting into the hobby. But seriously, go check out Play on Tabletop. Number two, I found this channel totally by accident. I don't know how it popped into my um, algorithm thing with YouTube, but it did, and I'm very, very grateful. I'm going to preface it like this. I'm old school in this game. When I first started, way back in 2nd edition, yes, I started in 2nd edition Warhammer 40K, three months before it switched to 3rd. That's where I started. A lot of females were not into the hobby. None. So after taking a massive hiatus and coming back, this is one of the first channels I found that blew me out of the water. Hobby Night. Angela, you are amazing. The way you present things, the way you're into various different stuff like Legos and you know board games and miniature gaming, and the way that you use contrast paints... It's so much fun to watch her, you know, because it's just so cool for, and this is going to sound like I'm being sexist or something like that, but I'm not, for females to embrace the geekdom, celebrate it, have a YouTube channel, and be respected for it. That is so amazing. Angela, seriously, keep up the amazing work. Like I said, I caught one of your lives. It was great. Yeah, I'm the guy who made the size joke. If you're ever watching this, that, that's me. <laughs> but, you know, just this is something I can sit down with my daughters and show them, hey, look, here's a badass woman doing what daddy does. So go check out Hobby Night. Now, number three is a weird one, okay? I found this channel when they were doing a painting competition amongst the staff. You know, the president, um, the big teddy bear, and I think it was um, their, like, lead painter. Forgive me, I really can't remember their names right now. It's the army painter. So they did a painting competition. And the president kicked back for a while and didn't start painting until like 15 minutes had left. He's like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I was like, oh my God, what the hell? I just, I love the interaction. I love some of the lives that I've caught. I love how they present the company. I love how their stuff flows in their videos. They make it really easy to follow through. And they're not coming at you from, look, I am a professional. I don't know why you can't paint like this. I mean, you are stupid if you can't edge highlight and you can't do this. And you, I would see the model's done. They break everything down so a paste eater like myself can sit and go, oh, okay. So that's how you do this. Oh, okay, that's it. Because of you, the army painter, I was able to learn how to do your rust effects 
and get it looking really, really well, and my son's orc warboss is rusty, because it's got rust blots all over it. But still, the army painter, go check them out. Now, speaking of contrast paints, you know, like I did with Hobby Night, you cannot have a list talking about contrast paints and not even talk about the War Hipster. You just can't. Tony Hawk didn't invent the skateboard. He just showed you what to do with it. If you ever need a master class in contrast paints, go watch the War Hipster. Seriously. He makes it look so flawless when he's doing it. There's been times I've got spare models and I'm trying it. And yes, I'm sorry. I've cursed you out. But I love how in his videos, he gets to a certain point and he goes, I would call this War Hipster Tabletop Ready. But we're going further. And he just takes a phenomenal miniature and makes it look boom. My hat is off to you, sir. It really, really, truly is. Your channel is phenomenal. Guys, if you are not watching the War Hipster, go check him out. All right, coming in at number five, this one is a ultimate guilty pleasure, Ninjon. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I like his videos. I like his style. I like how he presents things. I like his painting stuff that he does. He makes everything look effortly and smooth and beautiful. <clears throat> I love the fact that he did a video going, you know, here's my official tryout for the GW paint thing. Come on. Anybody who makes fun of Games Workshop in certain areas, the way he did it, that was beautiful. Guys, go check him out. Seriously, just... You're going to love his channel. I do. I usually watch three or four videos a day just to clear clear the palette, for lack of a better phrase, you know? All right. Coming in at number six, this is one badass female. Stephanie from Orion's Belt. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. Her paint style, the way she presents things, the way she embraces her geekdom, everything about this channel is great. And from my understanding, I, I may be wrong, when Games Workshop had their big horse hair say reveal, she got to paint Lehman Russ. I, I haven't seen the miniature yet. I would love to one day. But if you got to paint Russ, you have a follower forever. You already had a follower because you're just amazing at what you do. You know, and I know you keep talking about your voice. You don't need to because you're talking to somebody who at certain point sounds like that weird kid from The Simpsons and the Krusty Burger go, Welcome to the Krusty Burger! You're phenomenal. Keep doing what you do. I love the fact that you were unboxing the Leagues of Votan when you were Prego. I'm like, it was so cool. She's sitting there embracing everything going on with her and going, I really have to hurry this up. These kids are coming. These kids are this. Stephanie, you are phenomenal. Thank you for presenting a great channel that I can just sit down with with my kids. It's family friendly and I don't have to worry. Now, this one is one of the most out there channels and I love her to death. Alice, you did this video. Well, I should say her channel is Atraxia Painting Studios. Alice, you did this video. I don't know why it popped into my timeline, but it did. And I went, there's a female saying Warhammer is better than sex. Okay. Instantly I subscribed right there, just by the title. I went, subscribe. Then I watched the video, and I love that subtle dig you gave throughout the whole video when you're painting an emperor's children. I am like... Hmm, where are you going with this? And I love that at the end you're like, yeah, I said what I said. Warhammer is so much better than sex. And she closes it with, I like. Just dropping the head, I like. And cuts the video. Right there, you got a subscriber for life. I love the goofiness. I love the wackiness of your channel. I love that I can watch one of your videos and I'm not really sure where you're going to go with things. But it is always fun to watch. It really, truly is. Thank you so much for everything you're doing, and thank you for really entertaining a noob and helping push my painting stuff to a different level. Now, the ultimate guilty pleasure. It's got to be mentioned. 
you cannot talk about anything in the wargaming hobby, the miniature hobby, the tabletop wargaming hobby, without paying homage to the king, Duncan Rhodes. All hail the king. Oh my god. He was phenomenal when he worked for Games Workshop as their like lead painter. Now that he is free, and he's out on his own, and he's doing his own thing, it's just... It's so much fun watching him interact different paints from different companies into the miniatures. I really one day hope to get some Two Thin Coats paints. I really was never really huge into certain things when you were doing your Kickstarter. So I'm just going to have to wait like every other schmuck out here. But I will be getting your stuff. I really want to try it out. you got to pay how much to the king, Duncan Rhodes. You just, you have to. You can get lost in his videos. Because I swear to God, he makes everything look so easy in that whole, you know, two thin coats, neat as you can. You're like, I'm trying, I'm trying, you bastard, I'm trying. But it's the way he presents things and the way he does it. And the way he's like, we're going to put it here, 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 and here. And it's like, whoom, whoom. Okay, now that the paint's dry, I'm like, bastard, too quick. But you were so much fun to watch, sir. So thank you. There's my eight, guys. Now we're at the best part of this video. I really want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, and anger. Do you watch any of these channels? Do you subscribe to any of these channels? Here's the best part for me in the wargaming side. What channels are your guilty pleasures that you go down that rabbit hole? Give me some down below so I can go check them out. You know, I'm not new to YouTube, but I'm kind of new getting back into the hobby, and I'm loving everything that's going on. Seriously. I would love to know your input on my list and things you think I should check out. Now, if it made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that during this video, please give me one of those big thumbs up. That's right, the big thumb up. It's only going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated. But there we go, guys. There's my list. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope all of you are having a great day today. <clears throat> Burp, sorry safe day today, and I seriously hope one day to meet all of you across the tabletop.